Fast food employment. The pinnacle of working experience that most people have to start off with as their first job when they're a teenager. I mean, most kids I knew when I was in high school worked a fast food job to start off their career. Shoot, even I did in high school as well. Stacking up my bread was always important to me as a young man. And I was making serious cash from it. I mean, $11.50 an hour, $200 every week? Y'all niggas couldn't relate. I was up in y'all were down. It was either that or not working at all and having an actual social life in high school. I mean, can you imagine that? Imagine having an actual social life in high school, you fucking loser. Or another option for making money means was being a full on scammer and swiper. <clears throat> By the way, I got the methods for the love, so tap in. Anyways, fast food employment is such an interesting topic to me. Coming from a person who's worked in one before, I can tell you this right now. If you have never worked any type of fast food or just restaurant job in your career, first off, you haven't experienced work. Second off, you don't realize how truly blessed you've had it in life until now. Any type of customer service job itself already sucks, but fast food customer service is just different. While in regular customer service jobs, people usually just get mad at you and yell at you. Maybe they'll report you to the manager and try to get you fired, which look okay, respectfully, coming from a nigga who had people try to do this from him in the past. The managers do not care, will only side with you, so you shut the fuck up and leave. But anyways, the difference is people aren't fast food restaurants because they're hungry, aka they're hangry. And an angry, hungry person is not someone you want to F with. You truly won't see the anger of someone until they've been lacked of the food and nutrients they need. They gain 10 times more energy and power once it happens. Like at these jobs, they won't hesitate to blick your ass by any means. Oh, you forgot my sauce packet? Ah, don't worry, it's okay. Oh, you gave me cold fries? Ah, oh, you're good, you're good. Don't even worry about it. Oh, you put a little more mayo on my sandwich? It's all good, man. And the funny thing is, I didn't even make up all those stories. They're all real stories of actual things that happen at fast food places. Like, bro, someone really shot and killed a subway worker over putting too much mayo on their sandwich. This just can't be real life anymore. It sounds like a story straight out of Los Santos GTA. And out of all places, a subway? I mean, how could they? That's like the most common environment out of any other fast food restaurants. Subways are like zen gardens in the fast food world. I feel like I'm at eternal peace when I'm in a subway, so it actually genuinely surprised me. Which is when I knew our world had gone to shit when a crime happened at a subway. But there is an outliner. The crime was committed in Atlanta. So I shouldn't have suspected anything less. Anyways, it feels like working in fast food nowadays, though, it's guaranteed you get hurt in some miscellaneous random way. Like, I'm always seeing a new stupid headline about a crime being committed at a fast food restaurant now. For example, let's look at some more random headlines I just found online by searching fast food crimes. Lady bites Wendy's employee for getting her order wrong. Woman pepper sprays Del Taco manager over free burrito. And lastly, we can't forget, man gets naked, smears himself with feces at Arby's. That's typically what I would expect from an Arby's, but I mean, come on. The point is that it just keeps on getting worse and worse. And I don't see it getting better anytime soon. Instead of sending soldiers to training camps to prepare for war, I say they just send the soldiers to Denny's and Waffle Houses and make them work the night shift. I guarantee that'll train them better than any type of military training could. It's like working a fast food job now is kind of like being the convenience store clerk in GTA. People just pull up on you like you're an NPC and hurt you for their entertainment. You might witness a brawl just happen in the middle of working. Maybe a gang war in the BDs and GDs just start popping off shots. Shoot, who knows? Maybe even a nuclear fallout would just happen in the middle of the restaurant randomly. Anything is possible nowadays in the 21st century. Of course, the difficulty does depend on where you work though. For example, if you work at somewhere like a Chick-fil-A in an Arby's, nothing's really gonna happen to you. For Chick-fil-A, the reason is simply because everyone knows it just has that high standard of customer service. And they love everybody no matter what. Well, maybe not everyone. You get my point though. And for Arby's, the reason is because no one ever visits or eats there. It's like eating at the Chum Bucket. But if you do decide to work at somewhere like a McDonald's, Popeye's, Wendy's, KFC, etc., you have to expect the bad comings you will face once you sign up. You're pretty much destined to be harmed in your time working there at least once. And if you work at somewhere like a Waffle House, you're destined to be shot at at least once. And that's not even including on working time, I'm talking about just at any time in life. Which is why I think the employees at these type of places care far less than someone working at like a Chick-fil-A. And at Chick-fil-A, you don't really have to worry about anything happening to you, to be honest. Everyone's just kind of smiling and handing you chicken sandwiches. I mean, when is the last time you've seen a crazy headline happen at a Chick-fil-A? The worst headline you'll see is a worker forgetting to tell a customer my pleasure for the 400th time that day. Like, something has to be hiding behind those smiles. Meanwhile, if I'm working at a place like McDonald's or Popeye's, I'm always going to be looking behind my shoulder for any intimate type of danger. Who knows what could happen to me at any time working there. If someone simply tapped me on the shoulder at that job, I might accidentally shoot them in the face because I just can't trust anyone when I'm working there. On top of that, the worst of the worst customers come to these places. I swear, people come into fast food jobs in general and act like they're entitled to anything in the world, which I never really got. Every day on social media, like a moth to a flame, I'll see a video of a Karen complaining about the most minuscule BS thing that happened to her in a fast food restaurant. They could forget a ketchup packet in her bag and she treats it like they killed her entire family lineage. And once them Karens release their anger, their true sides come out. They start to talk like Uncle Ruckus in that bitch. And the most outrageous part is when they 
record the part from their perspective, thinking that they're the ones writing the whole entire conversation, assuming when they post that video that everyone is going to agree with them in the comments, but then they end up just getting trashed on by everyone in the comments. But hey, you know what? At least the worker didn't get shot over some extra mayo on their sandwich. I'd rather have a Karen yell at me every single day than something like that happen to me. And another thing I feel bad for people working at fast food jobs is just the sheer amount of work they have to put in a lot of times. Like people seriously don't understand how much pain it is to go through a normal shift at work in fast food. No matter what, when you're working as a fast food employee, there's always something you have to do no matter the case. It can be dead silent for hours in the restaurant and no one's come in for hours. And you'll still be forced to do something by your boss and managers. Like bosses and managers at fast food restaurants have got to be the worst people in existence. Trust me when I say bosses and managers don't want to see you resting in fast food restaurants for more than five minutes. They want to squeeze every single fibril fiber out your body. And I have personal experience from this. When I worked my old fast food job back in high school, every day I would take a small break and sit down from all of the hard work I've been doing the whole day. Putting my blood, sweat, and tears into making the best product I can. My boss would see me actually resting for once and smile deviously. Then tell me to get up and give me five extra random tasks to do. Like, bro, chill the fuck out. You realize you're only paying me $11.50 an hour, right? And a lot of times they forget the part that they need you and you don't really need them. Because trust me, if you leave that job, then they're going to have to find someone in the next two weeks. Or everyone else is going to have to continue to bear your load of work. So when you do try to quit one of these jobs, the managers will always beg you to stay and damn near get on their knees to suck you off. Like, bro, where was this behavior when I was working for you? I swear, like, bosses and managers at fast food places are the weirdest people ever to me. They can act like the most sane people ever and act like they're your friend at times. Then the next minute, switch up and act like they've hated you for their entire life. As soon as work gets in the way, you're pretty much getting stomped. And I don't know if I can really blame them, to be honest. I mean, people do fail to forget that they have bosses as well. And if it's between you and them, they're always going to pick themselves over you. They'd always rather you get fired than them, which is something you need to remember. So in reality, everyone's just kind of scared of getting fired. And they're also probably trying to get a better position in the company as well. I mean, you only can work as a manager forever at a fast food restaurant before you go insane. And another thing I didn't touch on is just the sheer amount of disgustingness that happens in a fast food restaurant. When you're working as an employee, you can see the inner workings of how the food is being made. And let me tell you right now, it's not made in a pretty way 99% of the time. It's kind of weird because fast food restaurants get away with a lot of things that wouldn't work at regular restaurants. Like, for example, the way they make chili at Wendy's. In Wendy's, they literally ground up the old hamburger meat to make the chili. That shit could be days old and they will literally just hammer it down and serve it to you. And there's always like a little dirty secret like that at every single fast food restaurant. But if you're eating the food, you don't know. I mean, you just get a package and whatever. And the restaurant's cleanliness is just so bad a lot of times. Like, I can tell you from a former fast food employee and other fast food employees to never drink from a soda machine and never take the ice from a soda machine. There are so many fucking infestations that go on in soda machines and whatever in fast food restaurants. But it's just never touched on. Like, you'll see one story about it and it's gone forever. Which is why I think everybody feels some type of way after eating fast food. I mean, after you eat a meal at McDonald's, it does not go down correctly for the next 24 hours. Your stomach twists and turns and does all type of whirly durlies for the entire 24 hours it's consumed in your stomach. It just doesn't feel right. Like, I don't think our Neanderthal cousins could survive a sip from McDonald's Sprite. I think they would die on first sip. Like, we're not made to consume this stuff. Well, maybe just this one, but everything else can go. And as a fast food employee, you have to kind of just watch people after making the food in the most nastiest way, eat it down, gobble it down in all types of different ways. You just sit there and you can't really do anything. I mean, I'm a worker there. What the hell am I supposed to do? Don't complain to the company. Another thing I didn't touch on is this one thing I always see. And now look, I'm not hating or anything. I'm just giving the truth. Why is there always a random homeless guy just sitting down somewhere in a fast food restaurant and staring? I feel like it's just a casual thing that happens at this point. They won't even be doing anything either. They'll just be sitting there staring at someone aimlessly for no reason. That should be having me scared as hell. And if they're not on the inside of the restaurant, then they'll just be on the outside walking around it. It's like they have an omnius aura around them. I don't know what it is. And you're probably saying, oh, but Tommy, you're scared. Are you scared of homeless people? That's kind of, that's kind of mean, don't you think? Yes, I'm scared of homeless people. Anyways, in conclusion, I just want to end off the video with this. Fast food employment is the worst pain any human can endure. And you guys really just need to leave these fast food employees alone. They probably already hate their job. Maybe their life. Definitely their life. And I don't think they would like the fact that they now have to worry about getting shot and killed over putting too much mayo on a sandwich. So, so let's just, let's just calm down a bit. If they forget to put an extra sauce in your packet, just, just, just leave. Or kindly ask again for it or something. Like, why do you need to block them for it? Anyways, follow my TikTok and Instagram. As always, I love you guys consensually. And until next time, I'm out.